I used to think I have reached the highest level of self-love. I showed up for my goals and went after them. I dressed up in the ways I would like to dress up and tried to physically glow up and I preached about the importance of focusing on yourself. However, the more I went down the road, the more I realized that there were other things that I had not solved within myself that I kept dragging throughout life. How could I go after my dreams while still being hard on myself, talking to myself negatively and punishing myself internally for not being where I was supposed to be? How could I embrace my confidence when the fact that once I did not get the validation and support from other people and I had to go down my own lane and forge my own path, I would be depleted and that confidence was gone? How could I move forward when all my baggage and unhealed wounds were still not healed yet? because I did not take time to process them and accept myself for the human that I am. Then, what does it mean to truly love myself? Does that mean I have to relearn how to love myself from scratch again because I am slowly losing its meaning? I stopped preaching about self-development in the beginning of 2021, all because I realized I had not practiced what I preached. Going through a postgrad crisis while navigating a life for myself took a toll on everything, my emotional state and self-esteem. The more I preached about self-love, the less I felt loving myself, because the advice sounded as if it was taken out of a textbook instead of a success story. I became more and more disconnected from everyone and self-isolated. I also became hard on myself during the same year. I became so impatient with my goals. It's like I knew what I wanted, but I was only able to go after those things in the future. My impatience stemmed from the curiosity of how it would unfold, whether I would make it or not, the end result, when I knew I barely did anything to get there or the effort that I put into my goals. I also missed my old self, especially senior high school Tasha. She was so patient with where she was going and the university she wanted to get into, and somehow she got into the dream school she'd always wanted. She took that leap of faith. She was so patient with herself and her path. High school Tasha also relied on her self-discipline and stacks of exercise books that she would do every single day. She got into the dream school finally and it was done by detaching from the outcome, constant effort, and trusting the process. I missed her. I wanted her back. Now that I am in a transition period, I slowly give myself grace. This period is hard already. I must not be hard on myself. I was told that the fact that I got overwhelmed by being hard on myself, that means the method did not work on me, so instead I had to be kinder with myself. All I wanted was going on my pace. I never want to be in that cycle again, but in order to not go back there, I have to let myself be human. Getting back up is possible because this year it was the first time I was able to pull myself back up again, though slowly. It is not linear, but as long as I move forward, it is fine. I may still figure out my life path, but the important thing is that I am becoming. It is alright. I'm trusting the process and just seeing how it goes. Self-love is not an overnight work. I am still growing and as far as I am going down on this path, I will be enjoying every step that I take.